Hi, my name is Catherine and I currently live in Sydney. I'm originally from Scotland and it was in Scotland about over 10 years ago that I did my Reiki 1. I was drawn to Reiki very strongly. Um, it's an energetic healing and it was something that just came across really powerful for me. I was actually involved in an experiment at university and 10 students were getting Reiki done and 10 students were in a placebo group and as soon as I, the experiment started I knew that I was getting Reiki done because my life started changing and ever since then I've kept on that pathway. Sometimes Reiki has come in stronger to my life than others. It comes when you need it but it's something you can always benefit from every day and the main thing it's taught me is to be very honest and true to myself and it's given me the courage and strength to be able to do that. That gut feeling you get sometimes where you go, I knew I shouldn't have gone there tonight or I knew that was going to happen or I, I, I didn't feel that person was right or Reiki gives you the strength to be able to follow that instinct and to be true to it and true to yourself. So it really helps you in life and it helps you progress very fast um, and get to where you need to be for the highest good. Um, I started coming to Bella about two years ago and um, I did, ended up deciding to do my Reiki Masters with Bella because I felt very connected with her and I just felt energetically her energy was very powerful, was very open and it's very, very infectious and I love being around her and I love what she gives me. She's helped me through some really, really hard times and given me really, really amazing guidance that's helped me where I am and without herself and Reiki, I wouldn't be the person I am now. So, and currently at the moment, I, I work in sales and marketing and I also study and I'm also a yoga teacher and I'm also a Reiki master. And I really believe in energy healing and using that sixth sense that we're never encouraged to use. And Reiki is definitely my, my channel of that. Hi Aquarius and thank you for joining me. I'm Bella Katrina and I'm here for entertainment purposes only. Bringing you a mini shabam because of your patience. I'm going to bring you healing guidance and messages from your angels. Soulmate Reiki angels, we've got the romance angels, the archangels and the divine life purpose angels. There are angels that specialize in different things just like we do here on earth. And we have the karmic angels which have flown in for you first. So they're asking me to tell you a little bit about karma. And I will do a, a longer version of this to tell everybody about this because I think it's important. So the, there's karma can be of varied, various kinds, right? Such as there's individual karma, collective karma and ancestral karma. So you're either in one of those three at the moment. Individual karma, this is karma that is limited to an individual. It can show up as struggles with health, relationships, finances and the like. Or the collective karma is when a group of related or unrelated people share a similar issue. They are said to be recipients of collective karma, victims of war, accidents and other unfortunate group incidences fall into this category. And then there's ancestral, which is what I feel that you're in. This is where patterns are passed on from generation to generation. Genetic illnesses, early deaths, frequent miscarriages, abuse, violence, dysfunctional relationships and the like fall into this category. Every karmic experience has a lesson in store for us. Once we learn the lesson, the patterns drop away of their own accord and the karma is healed. This is easier said than done as it can be mind boggling to analyze the dynamics of karma. However, in order to heal karma, it is ne not necessary to know what happened in each of our lifetimes or even to ponder over everything that happened in our current lifetime. People wonder if Reiki helps with karmic healing. The good news is that it most certainly does. It is not necessary for us to do anything special in order to heal karmic issues with Reiki. All it is needed is that we surrender the energy of Reiki and then go with the flow. It is important to remember that once we heal, we break free from the respective karmic cycle. It is not necessary that every person who is karmically involved with us must also heal at the same time. Now I am throwing out a bit of a um, help life raft life jacket to you and that is to do soulmate reiki with me on demand at less than half price and it's only available to the first um 
40 for Friday the 13th. It will be done and sent. And you get a workshop prior. So you need to really book as soon as possible. The next booking session available is the 27th of April. Now this is where you can receive the healing, the um, workshop and the symbol and send out a soul call with me. Right, but it's not with me personally on Skype, it's on demand video and it's done on the Friday the 13th for two groups. And this is a one-off offer and it helps you attract, recognize and begin a spiritually based romantic relationship. Attune your higher self to call in your soul kin for love, friendship or business. Open your heart to match your intention. And in the workshop, which I love, it helps identify your needs and deal breakers, what personality traits that suit you, and the time you have to invest in the relationship and the energy you wish to exchange. So, you know, you wouldn't, this is just like a blueprint. This is getting your divine blueprint down. And it will also help shift some karmic issues because we like to clear the past of any karmic attachments, any etheric cords, and start to heal your emotional and your mental body. The Reiki attunement opens you up and we invite more divine love energy th to flow through your body. This contact with Reiki increases your awareness quotient. You become aware of self-limiting patterns in your life, which is the first and most important step towards healing karmic patterns. Reiki heals at the cellular level and goes right to the root cause of every issue. It brings up hidden patterns and memories that need healing from across space and time. It gives us opportunities to heal past life issues without in always having to be aware of what exactly happened. If we need to see some past lives in order for karmic healing to occur, Reiki helps even with that. It leads us right to the resources and teachers who may help us go back in time and heal, which is your soul session six pack with me. Some amount of karmic healing automatically happens after being attuned to each level of Reiki, one, two, and three. By the time one reaches the master level, one can expect to have healed plenty of individual karma. Karmic healing can continue even after the master level, but that is often tailored to healing oneself for a global cause or a larger purpose. Reiki also invites divine grace into our lives. Often a touch of divine grace can help ease the process of karmic healing and reduce the number of bumps on the road. In case of ancestral karma, by choosing to heal ourselves, we also contribute to healing our family tree. Our decision to heal an unhealthy pattern can bring healing to many generations before and after us. We have all cho chosen to make Reiki a part of our lives. So let us surrender to the energy and allow it to lead us. Let the energy lead us right back to our own inner light where we finally discover that all karma is of our own doing. So we may then wake up from our dream whole and healed and possibly enjoy a hearty laugh and unconditional love. So we're looking at Soulmate Reiki, book right now, pay within 24 hours and receive the whole thing half price with a bonus healing. This is bringing in a new divine love template for relationships of all kinds, including romantic love. So soulmate Reiki works on two levels. We have to actually clear space of anything that no longer serves you and then put an order in to bring in the new. So love, love, love soulmate Reiki. It's going to change your life. But I want you to get clear on what it is that you want and this beautiful symbol and this attunement process um, is going to help your heart heal from any past betrayal or hurts and it's a really, really great time to be doing this. looking at April and we're going through to the first week in May looking at what does Aquarius need to know look that just fell out so it's going to be a positive couple of weeks and also looking at your um, confidence in how you see yourself you need to be in agreement that you're a hot catch because that's what your partner's going to think. 
So this is about lifting up and receiving holy fire, get a holy fire baptism anointing when you book your Shabam with me, which is your psychic reading and with a free upgrade and healing. We connect with your spiritual team, feel more grounded and present and clear your energy field whilst receiving messages from guardian angels, spirit guides, galactic family of light. We do that online. You can receive your holy anointing fire in that and receive your upgrade as your baptism as well to receive Jesus as your Lord and Saviour so that you get a ticket to the kingdom. We're going to the kingdom because we have to get out of planet Earth. As you already know, the frequency is out of control here. So we've set up a love vibration with the rose quartz crystals to heal your broken heart. It feels like, you know, nothing in particular happened, but pain, grief, sorrow have resurfaced in the past through not heavy circumstances. However, they've actually helped uplift, especially when you get a triple trigger like this, right? So you might be, um, you know, that time of the month, and I say that for both masculine and feminine, right? Because we all go through a cycle and there's a part of the month where we're very sensitive, whether you're a guy or a girl. And that, that time of the month, right, where you're sensitive, your energy's a bit lower, but you're super psychic and super aware and know exactly what people are thinking and feeling, you can absorb it all and you can take it on their pain and then put it on your own pain. Also, um, if you're tired, you know, at that time, that's a second trigger because that will help you react more than responding to things. And then the other thing could be your diet, you know, if then if we eat sugar at that time, then that has a crash aspect to it. So you're crashed, you're tired, and you're low and sensitive, right? So be aware of your triple triggers, trying to figure out what they are so that the, the universe can't use them against you, the lower vibrations can't come and get you because this has affected your power. This has affected your self-esteem, your confidence moving forward of who am I? Because it's felt like nothing particularly happened. You just feel upset and depressed. Right, and that's like going to change because that's transmuting, it's the tempering of that pain and transmuting it into power. So it's all energy, okay? If you believe we're all energy, we're all vibration. You're changing this pain vibration, transmuting it out through tears, through crying, right? Howling, writing, screaming, throwing things <laughs> safely. Um, writing letters and burning them with releasing them or drowning them or burying them in the earth. I find Gaia very healing. So your own power is resurfacing and you're actually re-jigging um, a contract here. Maybe you signed one when you were in your triple trigger and now you're in your power. You're like, that doesn't work for me anymore. I'm going to change that because I don't really need a company car because I never really travel or I would prefer to have this in my contract. I don't need to really do that for five days. I can just do that for three days and work one day from home. So it's a four-day contract. It's like this is re-jigging your life, right? Because instead of making yourself fit into circumstances Aquarius this is time for circumstances to now come and fit with you right because you are changing that then the circumstances aren't here in reality right now but they're on their way because you're ordering them right you're changing the contract the agreements that you had with God with Jesus with your heart with your soul with your partner right and changing them within your higher self yourself you're changing so don't be disappointed do not sit in this disappointment because this is going to pass very quickly right and you've touched the bottom of the pool so to speak and here you are rewriting your contracts of what this would be a good time for you to do like a vision board and writing down um, mental spiritual emotional physical goals or how you want to be because your intuition will actually help you write it you'll get aha moments just sitting down doing this right and that will help you integrate and balance this contract of lifestyle and people to suit your needs and your reality you know like in your head it might be a great fantasy but in reality you've got children are involved and you know it's hard to integrate romance romance into that lifestyle so sometimes it's better to just keep it as a fantasy but that's what's falling apart for you because you want to experience it in reality this is you Aquarius right this is you bouncing back with some enthusiasm now this doesn't come along every day this energy it's grace to you by your creator right and it's up to you what you do with it it's like an energetic key 
the Ace of Wands. And this is up to you where you invest it, <clears throat> putting it into your dreams. So you have to know here, you're sitting, what are my dreams? Because what's been, what I've been looking at in the past, I don't want any of it. Wow, I don't want any of it. Right? Instead of looking at what can I have that I don't really like again. So that's why I brought in soulmate Reiki for Aquarius, Gemini and Libra because you've had the toughest time here. This is a tough time. This is breaking codes of genetics right through pain, grief, trauma, shock and abuse. So now you clear it, then you've got to start again. It's like, okay, this is, it's the next opportunity that comes in because your power has increased your self-esteem, your confidence, and you're rewriting your contract. It would serve you very well to even rewrite a, a dis position description from God Inc., Angels Incorporated, right, where you actually just describe your, your job. And through your intuitive guidance in the next two weeks, you're going to start putting those dreams into action. This is an action card here, action of your dreams to integrate it into your new life. Right? This is very good, very positive steps forward. However, if you're in this reality still, you're going to be disappointed and upset. So just know that this is a part of life to feel that and it does pass, always passes. So it's how you handle that situation that makes gives you character and helps you have righteousness in your conscience. So things are going to move forward very fast. These are just three themes that they're asking you to watch out for. This is the mental habit of worry. So you need to really get a grip on that, get out of the mind matrix transmute all your pain watch a lot of my videos go to Aquarius playlist I've set things up for you specifically because when you're worried here everything closes in on you and you can't see your way out it's like being in a maze so you know what you're going to do you're going to rise up above it and fly over the maze right but this is p stuff from the past worries and thoughts and times where you did um, you know you thought you were on the right track and then you were lost so that's like going into a relationship that you thought was really good and then it fizzled out or you've lost yourself within it, right? So that's clearing because you're going to find yourself and redo the contract. So even if you are with a, a partner, you can revamp that relationship to a higher vibration. Soulmate Reiki would certainly help with that because it helps identify the new you and helps you put it into a context that you can express. Then you don't feel like you're so overwhelmed and you know daunted by it and then you have less worry doubt and fear because now you know and can identify you can rise above it and make decisions based on the new identity of you your new dreams and your new contract and how you will integrate it into your life you will do it through your intuitive guidance so this is like combining a couple of things that you really enjoy like say you like music you go for a walk play your chanting and even say your affirmations or do hands-on Reiki on, sit in nature, clear your mind and get guidance. There's like a triple whammy here, right? Because it's going to make, um, this is an integration process to follow your divine guidance on what is needed for you. They're also, sh also showing me, sorry, ah, your sacred eye, ancient eyes are opening. Now you know where they are? Your sacred ancient eyes. They're in your feet. So it's time to take your shoes off and get connected to earth, to Gaia, I call it Gaia. Okay, divine life purpose, then we're going to romance for Aquarius. So let's have a look, what is the message from the divine life purpose angels? Because the sun is coming out in your life. It's a very nice time and you could even put some clothes on. <laughs> Jesus comes into your solar plexus and gives you power confidence and my archangel michael can re release all fear so you just need to start asking daily and michael's saying just before you get out of bed set an intention for the day something amazingly wonderful is going to happen today thank you angels for going before me making easy my way right to state that out loud before you get out of bed so i have to put a note for some of it because i forget to do it i'm already up and then you have to add trust to this. So Jesus will help you with that as well. Jesus is your Lord and Saviour. He's come to save you because he died on the cross. You don't have to put up with any illness, any doubt, any fear, any worry. Because he's already paid the price. So it is an illusion and it's of the dark side. And then you have no trust. So trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. This is time for you to start dreaming, writing your own position description, your own lifestyle. Well, if I had it all my way... 
Just write that down and then finish that sentence often. Even through the day, gosh, if I had it all my way, you know, you might be sitting in the traffic, you go, well, if I had it all my, my way, I'd be home or I'd be by the pool having a pina colada by now or I'd be in the hot tub or I'd be getting a massage or, and just listen to yourself and receive that guidance and information. You go, well, it's not really appropriate to have a massage now, but I could book one now for tomorrow since I'm just sitting here in the traffic. Good point. Good point. Thank you, angels. So this is romantic feelings coming up, right? And anchoring them down so they're not so up high, giggly and hee 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 hee, right? Because that was the, um, you know, that's where your energy has been. So this is taking a relationship and integrating it into the reality of the now. Jesus keeps saying the eternal moment of now. It's like, mm-hmm, whatever that means. But we're trying to anchor it down, these romantic feelings for Aquarius because they're worth exploring and they're real and they're your heart. So you have to make a stand for your heart and you have to also trust and know that it is safe for you to love and be loved. Open your heart now. Do your soulmate Reiki and give and receive the highest energy of all. Just ask your body to receive or it's like giving permission for your body to just receive healing now through this video with Rose Quartz, with Reiki, and with the angels we also have the divine love flame which is lit so that will help you inspire you to book your soulmate reiki to get this attunement it lasts for life you get a workshop and you actually get this frequency of love and i'm going to work with you to keep it up people are feeling it already and they haven't even done their attunement yet everyone who's booked right is feeling the vibration so i do help you along the way to let go of pain resentment through vibration it's easy your mind gets out of the way and then if we say things out loud like releasing the karmic substance and doing these healings then that is actually giving permission for the angels, the galactics to come in and heal further because your coding's going off, there's a timer on it that you said, I will carry this coding around of my gene pool until I am ready to release it. And then the pain came, right? So it's like, this is dawn coming for you, right? It's been darkest just before dawn. So you know what the darkness looks like, Aquarius. We've got one more card for you from the Archangels. You know what to do. It's Archangel Uriel. So he's working with all of you because he's the psychological angel. So you have to unhook your brain from programming, from narcissistic abuse, from the genetic coding. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Once you've gone into the... Um, fifth dimensional crystal grid of Gaia and plugged in there through your pituitary gland it's a real galactic upgrade you have a light body inside you you'll already know what to do exactly what to do because you know what you do you do whatever lights you up Aquarius it's whatever floats your boat so no the only way you can know what floats your boat, so to speak, what lights you up in every moment is to be present and grounded. And Reiki is the only way I know how to do it. You've done your soulmate Reiki with me. I look forward to you booking your Reiki level one and two, your magic healing pa package and soul session six pack. And congratulations to the masters that are already up to manifesting miracles with the masters because then we're ready for the twin flame union and for divine love partnership. So these are the master 10 packs. Once you hit mastership, it's a refresh and a spiritual upgrade because Reiki 1 is physical, Reiki 2 is emotional and mental. Reiki master is spiritual. So all chakras and aura get upgraded. Then we manifest miracles with the masters through it because your shashumna is open, your pathway is clear and you have your pillar of light. Then we go into the yin and yang and balance within. So that is to do with your sacral chakra, a lot to do with your relationship with money, your relationship with your inner child, your sexuality, and your um, trust, and desires, and um, appetites. And that's where we have the yin and yang, masculine and feminine, mystical marriage within, and then success, love, and money. So there is a full program. So I urge you to start because you'll love it. And um, you could even start just with a small investment with a big payoff. Soulmate Reiki is a massive payoff for you. And I look forward to connecting with you at your attunement, if not before, in your shabam. Thanks so much for watching, Aquarius. Please comment below. I love you and shine really bright because you're the stars of light. And you are the light. 
that you've been looking for. Shine really bright. Love you. Bye for now.